Is the Canon EFM system dead? The EFM line has sold extremely well over the years, especially with the Canon M50. It's been the best affordable option from Canon to enter their mirrorless system. But the way things have progressed with the Canon EFM system lately, I believe we won't see any more EFM releases ever again. I believe the EFM system is dead. On November 30th, CanonRumors.com put out a statement of a new APS-C camera being released by Canon in 2022 and that this camera is going to have the new RF mount. This is not a new rumor. Over a year ago, it was rumored that this camera would be released in 2021, but my guess is that with COVID, supply shortage, and all the other things going on in the world, that this release had to be postponed. But now we might finally see this being released in 2022. The old rumor is that this camera is going to be called the Canon EOS M7 or R7 and it was told to have a 32 megapixel APS-C sensor with the version 2 of Canon's dual pixel autofocus, IBIS, dual SD card slots, 4K up to 60 frames per second in video, 1080p up to 120 frames per second, and C-Log amongst other things. Now, these are just rumors, so who knows what specs the final camera is going to get, but rumors usually don't come out of nowhere, usually. So if Canon is actually releasing an RF APS-C camera in 2022, I believe that the new camera will be the last nail in the coffin for the EFM system. Canon's older system, the EF and EFS system, has many, many lenses on the market. Between 1987 and 2020, Canon launched 211 different EF and EFS lenses to the public. This number is made up of 20 EFS lenses, 4 APS-C cameras, and 191 EF lenses. And out of these 211 different types of lenses, it's estimated that Canon has sold over 140 million of them. All of these lenses can be used on Canon's EFM system with an adapter. But when it comes to Canon's native EFM lenses, the number is not that impressive. In fact, Canon has only released eight native lenses for the EFM system. As you can see, many of these native EFM lenses from Canon has a variable aperture. Only a few have a faster aperture. In fact, it's only the prime EFM 22 and 32 millimeter that has a fast aperture. All the other Canon EFM lenses are zoom lenses with a variable aperture. Well, except for the EFM 28mm macro, because that has an aperture of f3.5. And you can't debate if that is a fast aperture. Even if Canon is selling or have been selling a lot of the EFM mirrorless cameras, especially the Canon M50, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are selling a lot of their native Canon lenses. And this could be the problem because in the void of fast native Canon EFM lenses, third-party manufacturers have seen their opportunity and they have made much better lenses to fit the EFM system. There was a rumor about two years ago that we would get five new native Canon EFM lenses, but we haven't heard anything about that ever since and nothing has been released. Companies like Sigma and Wiltrox has both made three prime lenses each all of them with an aperture of f1.4 and the price of these prime lenses is not that scary either sales numbers are difficult to find but that there's so many more fast prime lenses from third-party manufacturers and that canon chooses to not compete is a sign to me that they are not willing to commit to the efm system and if we go back to the rumored aps-c RF mount camera to be released in 2022, this is probably a much better strategy by Canon because Canon has not shared the secrets behind the electronics in the RF mount with the third-party manufacturers. The majority of third-party lenses for the RF mount 
are manual lenses only. There is no electronic communication between the camera and the lens. So if Canon releases an entry-level APS-C camera with the RF mount, they will basically have a monopoly on the RF lenses for this camera. And if they, in addition to this, release APS-C RF lenses that are smaller and cheaper than full-frame lenses, Canon can probably and will probably sell a lot more of this camera and the lenses to go with it than they currently are doing with the EFM cameras and lenses. But even if they decide to kill off the EFM system, it's still available and it's still a great entry level system. The Canon M50 Mark II will probably be available on the market many, many years ahead. And if Canon decides to release a new entry level camera with an RF mount, the EFM system will probably become even more budget friendly as prices probably will go down and the used market will flourish with affordable EFM lenses. Anywho, this is just my opinion on the matter. I'm curious to know what you think. Is the EFM system coming to an end? Leave your comments down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and maybe I will see you in another video.